Greetings, Fahami, Salam, uh, brothers and sisters. Um, this is your brother from uh, Ethiopia. This is Raho Tab. Uh, greetings and Salam, Fahami. This is going to be my uh, 13th, my last video I am making in an effort to introduce you and uh, to uh, uh, get, share with you some of the teachings of the Holy Fahami uh, Prophet of Amun Ra by the name of uh, Honorable Paul Nathaniel Johnson. Uh, he, uh, he was, uh, he began his, 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 his uh, revelations and teachings in 1919 till uh, he uh, left this physical plane in 1954. Uh, and uh, in the past 12 videos, I was giving you some of some. I know I can't, uh, uh, you know, you know, share all of his uh, his his writings and his teachings in this YouTube. So I tried to give you some of the mo I, what I what I thought was the most enlightening uh, you know s selection of his teachings so uh, in this last video I would like to share with you uh, uh, some of his uh, uh, prophecies that the uh, the Holy Fahami temp uh, the Holy Fahami made during his uh, his uh, stay on this earth from what I heard and what the, uh, uh, the ancient tells me, I mean the elders told me, is um, uh, one of his prophecies he made back back in the days, in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, was he warned and he told his closest disciples, which we were only, uh, he had only two disciples, all right? Those two disciples that believed in him and that, finished the lesson, the study with him, and he told them, and they, they, in return, they in turn told the other disciples back in the 60s and 70s and 80s that what the Holy Fahami told, said about China. And he warned it, and he told those people who were willing to listen that America's, the United States headache and trouble it's not going to be Russia, but it's going to be China, you see? And he told those this prophecy he made in back in the 30s, in the 40s, where there was no even China at that time. Nobody even, you know, everybody was so hyped on, on the raids on the Russians at that time. But he made that prophecy saying, United States headache and problem is going to come not from Russia, but from China. And the high priest, may peace and uh, uh, um, blessings of God be upon him, uh, he told me directly and um, some of the students he had that um, he had a vision and he was told by the disciples of the... the <clears throat> The Fahami that uh, the armies of China is, are, they, are going to walk St. Louis. You see, there is going to be an invasion of China. I think, unless there's some kind of drastic change the United States makes, is uh, you know, he saw and he foretold that the, the armies of China is going to walk in St. Louis. That's what even the high priest told me before, uh, you know, he passed, uh, make his transition. And, um, and uh, that was a prophecy that uh, Holy Fahami made back in the, 20, in the 30s and the 40s that is, is, is the headache of the United States is going to be later on China, not, not Russia. Anyway, and that's right now as we speak is truly is so you know and uh, the other prophecy he made 
was about uh, uh, the question in the in his answering questions um, in the answering question uh, uh, lesson he gave he uh, he uh, he says right, the question is the uh, his, his, you know the question that was asked was <clears throat> Bear with me till I find it so I can uh, right here. If question, if they, which is the people of uh, the world, or you know, if the Kamites, if the Kamites do not accept this prophet, Honorable Paul Nathaniel Johnson Ahmadine, when will another prophet rise up amongst them? How long must they wait? The answer. The, they must wait hundred years. Amun Ra has promised the Ethiopians that at the end of every century he will rise up a reformer amongst them. So the next reformer will appear around the year 2000. You see? That is the prophecy he made that the next reformer will appear around the year 2000 so uh, that's another prophecy he made that is going to be another representative another uh, prophet that will rise up among among the Kamites if they do not accept him that was made back in 1919 so we have about six more years. And after six years, it's going to be hundred, a hundred years since 1919 to 2019. So within the next six years, we should expect another uh, reformer to come to revive the ancient Kamites or the Kamite race. Okay. So if you are watching this DVD, you are that reformer. I am that reformer, those of us that know about the Fahami and uh, that have been on self-discovery and on the journey of self-realization, we are those, we are those reformers that the Fahami prophesied a hundred years ago, almost uh, uh, nine, back in 1919, okay? The other lesson which he gave was and what and he what and he showed you see what the elders what the high priest you know may maybe peace be upon him the high priest Peter Ra uh, when um, he told us and some, me and some of the disciples that were uh, 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 getting the information that when the high, when the uh, uh, prophet, um, um, when the prophet was I... walking in the streets of St. Louis, and uh, and uh, and um, uh, one of the disciples. <laughs> okay, be good. Okay, hold on, I mean, hold on. When uh, his disciples was complaining, you see. When his disciples was complaining how hot the day was, and um, he t he looked at him, he looked at the the, the disciple and told them, "No, it's not hot. Wait till I leave this earth. Wait till I leave this physical plane, and you will tell me how hot. You know, it's like it's like it's not hot. Not today." He told them, "Wait till he make his transition, leave this earth planet, and." In July, you see, July 14, 1954 is the hardest day in St. Louis, the day that the Holy Prophet made his transition from this earth, was the hardest day in St. Louis, the hardest day in Illinois. It was 117 in St. Louis. 118 in Illinois.
the hardest day around nine states in the Midwest, the day that the Holy Prophet made his transition. Even the sun, it was hot, the hardest day in the Midwest. I checked it. I you can go check it if you want to. Say July 15, July 14, 1954 was the hardest day on record in the Midwest. And that's the day that the Holy Fahami left his physical body. And he told them, he told one of his disciples, who is his main his name his main disciple, that it's not even hot, you know, it's going to be hot when he left his physical um, his physical body you know so July um, July 14 1954 is the hardest day in St. Louis and in Illinois was 118 and 117 okay um, anyway those are some of the, the prophecies and some of the things that he um, he shared and uh, with his closest disciples and uh, and uh, as I'm sharing with you now so you be aware okay um, the other thing that I was going to uh, say about uh, about St. Louis why did he why did he chose St. Louis you see and he taught and he told that St. Louis is the key. St. Louis is ruled by Gemini energy. You see, that's why right now St. Louis is one of the most negative crime um, number one or number two in the United States was crime, deaths. Yesterday, I watched the news like four people, four or five people daily being killed. You know, it's, it's just full of suffering. But he told his closest disciples and the disciples knew that St. Louis is ruled by Gemini energy. And once, if, if, if St. Louis changes, the whole world is going to change. St. Louis is that high charged place and he even told that underneath St. Louis there is an Egyptian city you know ancient an Egyptian city that's underneath St. Louis and that's a high energy place and he told the disciple and he chose St. Louis as his he headquarters back in the days because of he said if you can change St. Louis the whole world can change for positive or for, for negative you know in fact in one of his teachings he even put it like this he said uh, he said this, uh, you know, he says, scholars was, you know, scientists advanced the conception of vital force as the unique principle of life, as the unique principle of life, and we must learn to understand these mysteries of life. Our images, he said, our images portray our life all over the 12 sections of the earth in many ways unknown to others okay he said our image our mental image what we entertain um, on our head our image what how we view ourselves how we you know view and see our in our mental images portray our life all over the 12 sections of the earth in many ways unknown to others because People are temperamental and religions are geographic. These two things are the causes of all of changes throughout the sections of Earth. Okay, so he told that St. Louis, the way, how St. Louis goes is how the whole world is going to go. You see, uh, the energy of St. Louis can affect and reach you know shape all the 12 sections of the uh it's like saint louis is like the 13th the 13th uh, uh um, energy the 13th uh, um vibration that i will i will make the whole the other 12 sections of the earth activated and changed for a better okay for goodness you know 
but we said you change the energy of St. Louis, then the whole world can go into uh, the whole world that can change too, all right? So these are some of his prophecies and some of his teachings regarding, um, you know, uh, St. Louis and uh, how we can uh, bring this change about. Um, and one of, and, and the other something says, how can we change the courses of our life? Okay. The question was, how can we change the courses of our lives? The answer is, we change the course of our lives by changing the scenery. You see? In our imagination, and this develops new thoughts. New thought arouse your energy, which moves the soul, which sends your soul on a journey that brings the new information which guides you to success. Question, I'm, I'm going to repeat it one more time. He says, how can we change the course of our lives? Answer, we change the course of our lives by changing the scenery in our imagination. The scenery in our imagination, and this develops new thoughts. New thoughts arouse your energy which moves the soul, which sends your soul on a journey that brings the new information which guides, which guides you to success. Okay? And uh, uh, it says, what a question. You say the question is, what is the sincerity in prayer? Through sincerity, the God which is seated in our conscience gets in touch with the God of the universe which answers prayers. The angel gets information from God and tells it to your spirit. The spirit thus lifts the body. The God in you guides you around danger and onto your achievements by the permission of the Most High God. <clears throat> So, um, and indeed, right here too, I hear too, you know, a question. How indeed can we change our life? Question. How indeed can we change our lives? The answer he gave was only by changing our thoughts about life. Only by changing our thoughts about life. All right. And he said energy is the electrified shadow or soul which envelopes the physical body. And he says, energy is the electrified shadow, which is the soul, which envelops the physical body. Our, our physical body is enveloped by energy. And uh, <clears throat> um, okay, um, it says, and uh, this is the family lesson. Quickly, it says, question: What is sickness? Sickness is weakness of any kind, mental, physical, or financial. It is the absence of the spirit of Amun Ra, or God. And he said, how can this ills be healed? How can this ills be healed? This ills can be healed by the inflowing power of spirit. The inflowing power of the spirit. The spirit enters the body through the heart. I repeat, the spirit enters the body to the heart as a magnetic vibration to the ether which pervades all substance or space question how may one develop this power by making answer them by making his heart a magnet a magnet of the seed of the spirit of amen ra all right so what is the first step Toward improvement? The question is, what is the first step towards improvement? The first step a person makes toward improvement is to become sincere. Okay? Okay? Can one profit by becoming insincere? The answer is no. Only when we become sincere, will the Most High God guide us and improve 
our condition for he is never sick poor in need weak ignorant or foolish and never in bondage or slavery the question is how indeed can we change our lives like i said before answer only by changing our thoughts about life okay and um uh, And um, uh, says, uh, um, I'm going to go share so in, in his teaching in prosperity, a family lesson. Uh, how can one find quickly a nearness, a nearness to God? Answer by practicing the silence by meditation, by, by meditation, by which. He can open up his mind and his thoughts and his heart and get in tune with the God outside of him and the God within him, the spirit of life. The, the person who thinks only of poverty will always remain poor. The Fahami said, the person who thinks only of poverty will always remain poor. Okay? Uh, what is the sense in prayer? Question, what is the sense in prayer? Answer, when you pray, the quote-unquote, the little God in you gets in touch with the great God of the universe. In other words, the small battery is in a position to be recharged by the master battery from which we get all our power. See, the same thing can be accomplished in meditation, in silence, and during the right sleep so question what is God answer God or Allah is everywhere I'm sorry the question is where is God and the answer was God or Allah is everywhere question where is the devil answer the devil is everywhere except in the presence of God the devil is everywhere except in the presence of God Question, then what is the devil? Answer, the devil is the negative or the weaker forces, the crude, the low, and evil, the undeveloped, and the ignorant powers of the universe. Uh, again, I'll repeat it. The devil is the negative or the weaker forces, the crude, low, and evil, and the undeveloped and the ignorant powers of the universe question who holds the devil in check answer god allah he has power over all things question why does not god kill the devil answer because it is only by the devil that the good is known by us the true the wise the powerful the faithful are tried we could not say such and such a one is good unless we could compare him or her with such and such a one that was bad. So true is the God of love and the false God is the devil. And with all helping one another is the foundation of prosperity. Helping one another, sharing with one another. And... Uh, uh, I hope <laughs> um, this past 13 videos helped you to better understand Fahami and, and, and inspire you, motivate you to find more about uh, Fahami and the signs and uh, um, the paths of self-realization. Uh, because when he said, when the, when the Holy Fahami, when he said, a race has a soul just as a person has a soul. Our soul is saved, but it is lost to us, and we must find it. It is the collective spirit power of the race. Our soul will be found through realization of self. So this past 12, uh, 13 videos uh, is my belief and my hope that they will lead you more into um, the path of self-realization and uh, um, enlightenment 
medefahami and our ancient gods and goddesses keep you safe and give you the barakats and uh, blessings uh, barakats of and uh, long life uh, fahami mm, say say fahami say fahami Hello. say fahami Hello. all right peace and blessing fahami above all